The electrical fields in that house. Shocking. If not electrifying, I think you might say it's a real current event. That's enough, Dad. Thanks. More importantly, look at all the food we've got. Are we stoked or what? I say we go somewhere. Yay, places! The electrical fields in that house. Shock. All right, brothers and sisters, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, simple as taking a satellite dish from a bear's cave. No. Well, the time has come. Only instead of simple, it'll probably be extremely complicated and cost many lives. Oh, so, let's get started. We'll start in the caves at the bottom of the cliff. No climbing. I like it already. Glad you approve. Eventually, we'll come to an underground river. We follow this nice, swooping curve of scenic, high-resolution underground caverns right underneath Vincent the Bear's old den. Um, hi. Quick question. He's not there, right? The hungry, angry bear who hates us? Burn, please. Do you honestly think I'd recklessly endanger our lives with some harebrained scheme? I scouted it out just the other day. It was cold and cobwebby. Desolate. Uh, which day was this again? I told you. The other one. Now we'll come back about halfway up the mountain. The bear we're not supposed to feed. Burn. I scouted it. Or meant to. Whatever. Now, if I can continue. From here, we just head up the mountain to the den, grab the satellite dish, then head back. How exactly we planning on carting some big giant dish all the way down that mountain? Worry, worry. That's all you worry warts do. Onward! Echo, echo, echo! Maybe we ought to hold off on the fun with acoustics till we're sure this cave's actually bearless. Good one! I mean, what's in it for the bear outside of a full belly and our delicious taste? Armadillo. Hard to tell from this angle.
It's even bigger than I remembered. I like pretzels. Yo, we're friends of Vincent. Why'd you go calling him for us? Would you show that? Don't friends more like how I feel toward this stalagmite? Wasn't he the one who wanted us to come by for dinner that one time? You're right. I'm starving. Let's take him up a bit. <laughs> Aim for the bear.
Thanks. Sorry I wasn't more help. I know! You get the rats I can't reach, and I'll hit the ones you can reach. Glacier feels hungry for chips. <laughs> Cryogenics. Not with a little squirrel shape, Glacier feels hungry for chips. Wee! Yay! Over here! In here! And it is! Knows it, and now we'll go. You must have taken care of that knows it, and now we'll go. Okay, here's the plan. You might away me on low for ten minutes. Okay, here's the plan. You might away me on low for ten minutes. for everything! Now let's find a way through this mountain. Don't worry, I brought my lucky digging spoon. Something tells me this place ain't exactly safe. Hey, aren't we right below Vincent's den? I can almost smell the food from here. Guess instead of worried about getting noshed by a bear, I should just be rejoicing over acquiring a satellite dish. Just like that skunk in that fable, Hammy wrote. Maybe we can use the satellite dish to pick up food signals from space. Is that what I think you wish it was? All my angry letters to the Weather Channel must have paid off. They're making it rain food!
normally I'm not in a hurry to find an angry bear's den, but in this case, I think I'll make an exception. There's no way Vincent could be there waiting for us. Put it this way, I'd look a little silly if he was. And just to clarify, what you're saying is that Vincent can't be- Please, when a bear cave has all this bear dung in it, it doesn't mean there's a bear, silly. Can't argue with that, because I wasn't listening. This place reminds me of catching snowflakes on my tongue. Only giant rock-sized ones. It's like a winter wonderland. Vincent's not big on having house guests. Just following the motion with your eyes is good exercise for your skill. Long as he's not here in the flesh eating our flesh, though. Look, Worrywart, I happen to be fluent in over nine languages created by me. What? I don't know how much longer I can take not getting eaten. Sure, that's only the fourth time I've seen that stalactite there. I'm starting to think maybe we should have just gotten the actual satellite, cause it's closer. really puts the cave back in cavern, huh? Hey, look a lock! I bet there's a key somewhere we could use to jimmy open the hinges and dismantle it. Let me guess. The keys are sitting right at the edge of the cliff, above the bottomless pit. Don't worry, squirrels can fly. I saw it in a book during a dream I was having.
place is down so you don't set off any... Out of the way, skunk coming through. I told you Vincent wasn't here! Look everybody! It's Vincent! Grr, must eat annoying raccoon! Let's compromise! Eat this rock! Run right away! Ah! Ah! Oh wait, that's right, we bumped into each other when we depelted you. <laughs> that was funny. I think Vincent wants us to go, or stay, but inside his stomach. Vincent, what's the last thing you remember? That human with all the traps shooting me with a drag dart. And you, destroying all my stuff. Wives. Uh, let's get back to the first last thing you remember. You were brainwashed into wanting to attack us thanks to this! Well, actually, I still want to attack you. But not as much, right? Look, Vincent, we have a common enemy. RJ? The other common enemy. Remember the big human who shaved you in that contraption? Yeah. I'd like a bite of that human to give him something to remember. I'm in. 
bears is so easy. 